Let us discuss some basic points which you all must remember related to metals. Metals always lose electrons. Metals have one, two or three valence electrons. Metals form electropositive ions. Metals have valency plus one, plus two or plus three. These are the four basic points. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's take say sodium with the symbol Na. It has an atomic number that is Z is equal to 11. Sodium has an electronic configuration 2, 8 and 1. And it has one electron in its valence shell. So as we have just discussed, metals have 1, 2 or 3 valence electrons. So this tells us that this is a metal. It has one electron and since it has one electron in its valence shell, it is a metal but it is not a stable atom. Now to understand this, when we say it is not a stable atom, we need to recall on what is meant by stability. So we have two rules of stability. One is known as the duplet rule and the other is known as the octet rule. So we are going to discuss both of them first. So for any atom to be stable, it should have two electrons in its first and outermost shell. That is only the K shell. So if any atom has two electrons in only and only the K shell, then it is said to follow the duplet rule. If the atom has two electrons in any other shell apart from the K shell, then it is not said to follow the duplet rule. Therefore, this rule is not applicable for any shell other than the K shell. So this is one of the rules of stability. The other rule is that for any atom to be stable, it should have 8 electrons in its outermost shell. That is all shells except for the K shell. Since the K shell cannot accommodate more than 2 electrons. That means the octet rule is simply applicable for all the shells but not the K shell. Therefore this rule is applicable on other shells except for the K shell since it has only a capacity of 2 electrons only. So this rule is applicable on all shells except for the K shell. And the only noble gas following the duplet rule is helium. And the only noble gas not following this, the octet rule is also helium. So you need to know this. Now getting back to again, we were talking about sodium being a metal. So if you have understood the concept of duplet rule and octet rule, it will be easier for you people to understand that why sodium loses electrons and in turn we call it as a metal. Now since sodium is not a stable atom, that means it has an electronic configuration of 2, 8 and 1. In its outermost shell, it does not have 8 electrons, but it can do so by simply losing these two, this one electron from its outermost shell. If it loses this one electron, it is left with 8 electrons in its L shell. So if you were to mark here the shells, so this is the K shell, L shell and the M shell. So now it will have 8 electrons in its outermost shell once it loses this one electron and in turn gains stability by following the octet rule. So let's get back here now. So since sodium is not a stable atom, it can attain stability by losing one electron. Now some children are actually confused that it could actually have 8 electrons here as well. By gaining 7 electrons, it would again have 8 electrons in the M shell. But sodium or any other metal which has 1, 2 or 3 electrons in the outermost shell does not gain electron. The reason is, it's a simple concept related to energy. The energy involved in gaining 7 electrons will be more as compared to losing 1 electron. Therefore, it prefers to lose this 1 electron. And therefore, by losing 1 electron from its outermost shell, it in turn follows the octet rule and becomes stable. This can be represented or shown like this, that sodium atom loses 1 electron, forms Na1 plus ion. It becomes a stable Ion. Now since it has lost only one electron, therefore it gets a 1 plus charge. Let's try and understand this with the help of the atomic structure. Now sodium atom has 11 protons and 12 neutrons in its nucleus, has 2 electrons in its first shell, 8 electrons in its second shell and 1 electron in its third and the outermost shell. It After losing this one electron, its structure will look like this, that now it has 11 protons, 12 neutrons. 2 electrons in the first shell, 8 electrons in the outermost shell now instead of 1 electron. 
Now since it has one electron less and protons are now more than electrons since as we can see the 11 protons protons do not vary but the electrons have now become 10. So since number of protons are one more than the number of electrons now therefore it gets a plus one charge. So this is how sodium atom forms sodium ion and this is the reason why we say that metals always lose electrons and they always form electropositive ions. Now the same concept of ion formation I have uh, explained in another video where I have also explained ionic bond. So you can refer to that and I am sharing the link of the, of the video in the description box. Thank you.